Hey everyone, this is just going to be a short video to make you aware of a vote that is currently going on, on under the community tab on my channel. This vote will determine which game is going to take over from Into the Breach which is coming to an end. Like last time, you'll find a link to the community tab in the description and it'll be the newest post you'll find there. Also like last time, I've selected four games for you to choose from. First up, in the upper left corner, we have Ori and the Will of the Wisps. We placed the first one on my channel and ever since I've been wanting to play this sequel. Just like the first game, the sequel is a very beautiful Metro Metroidvania style platformer that will take Ori on a completely new adventure. New friends and foes and new puzzles for us to beat. Next up, in the upper right corner, we have Pear Asbera. And I'm not 100% of how that's pronounced. It could be Aspera, Aspera, Pear, Per. I'm not actually 100%. I think I, I, I Google it real quick and I believe it's Latin. I think it's, I think, I believe it's, it's part of a phrase that means with difficulty. But uh, don't quote me on that. But in either case, at its core, uh, Per Aspera is a simple base building game in which we must terraform Mars to make it a hospitable environment for mankind. We play as Amy, an AI modeled after the human brain and in close cooperation with Houston and later on the humans on Mars, we need to make this dream come true. The story is where this game really stands out for me though and it takes some very interesting and at times dark turns. Your third choice in the lower left corner is Gris. This game is an adventure game with a very beautiful hand-drawn art style. We control Gris, a hopeful young girl that has become lost in her own world while dealing with a painful experience. As we play through the game, Gris will grow emotionally. As she grows, she'll start to see the world differently, opening up new paths that was otherwise unknown or hidden to us before. Lastly, in the lower right corner, we have Blasphemous, another Metroidvania style game. Blasphemous pixel art style makes it stand out from the rest that we have here today, but does not make it any less impressive. Where Blasphemous really stands out for me though, is its very strange and unique world. It's difficult not to get drawn into the lore of the game and even though it's often difficult to make sense of it, I always felt eager to learn more about their twisted religion and this curse that has befallen the realm called the Miracle. And that is going to be all for this video. Those are your four choices. I'd very much appreciate if you take a couple of minutes to go vote and let me know what you prefer to see on the channel. Remember, this is still a very small channel and there's only a dozen or so of you who actually participate in these votes. So your vote carries a lot of weight at the moment and could very well be a deciding factor. Thanks for watching and thanks for, to everyone who either will or have already voted. Until next time. Take care.